Good morning, folks. As the descent into sunspot minimum is underway, we find the energetic activity level of our star already hitting the floor. For quite some time, we've been without solar flares, leaving coronal hole streams and plasma filaments as the only space weather, like this one at the eastern limb. When we come to spaceweathernews.com, we find the last day of our star here, and speaking of plasma filaments, that's a million kilometer long structure if considered to be part of the same magnetic system. Eyes on that one, folks. If we get a full release, it'll be a titanic blast. You stay in your seat, big guy. As previously mentioned, our star is flatlining. No solar flares and the sunspots are not helping the situation. The departing group on the north is becoming a lone wolf as trailing umbras fade while the active region turns right towards the limb. The incoming sunspot is showing no signs of development and it takes two to tango or to make solar flares, whatever it is we're focused on here. So let's come to the solar wind. Yellow peaked and is now dropping out as the weak coronal hole stream ends, that's the speed dropping, geomagnetic disruptions becoming less and less likely. Our next chance for space weather is from that dark coronal hole which already set its stream towards Earth, should arrive here in the next 36 hours or so, and since it was weak, the largest quake triggered during its influence appears to have been this 5.6 on the Carlsberg Ridge in the Indian Ocean. Let's do an ice check. El Nino absolutely crushes polar ice as Arctic was at record low levels for a while, it is coming back now as the pattern shifts. And down south we saw it too. After three years of record high Antarctic ice, El Nino took it below average for the first time in years, but it too is now coming back already above average as the El Nino pattern has changed. For those who were interested in our Jupiter story from March 24th, we posted a new deeper look yesterday describing a coincidence in flux transfer events that we just cannot ignore. And of course, if you are a member and can access deeper look episodes, you can access Fly on the Wall, new podcast coming in a few hours here today, suspiciousobservers.org. We've got pressure and radar forecasts, shots of our star to close. It's 4.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.